In this video, we'll evaluate this fraction. And of course, the point of this problem is not just to evaluate some crazy fraction that you're unlikely to encounter in any applications. The point is to learn to break up complicated mathematical problems into simple ones. And when it comes to complicated mathematical expressions, such as this one, the skill is to see them as hierarchical structures. In other words, as combinations of simple mathematical expressions. We've discussed this over a number of videos on compound fractions, so if any part of my strategy here is unclear, I encourage you to watch those videos again. So what I'm going to do now is to describe the hierarchical structure of this expression, and then I'll proceed silently to work out all the algebraic details. So what we have here, because this bar is the widest, is this fraction over this one. Now the compound fraction on top is relatively straightforward. It's just this simple fraction over this one. The compound fraction on the bottom is a little bit more complicated. What we have is the number 24 over this compound fraction. And if we drill down one step deeper, we'll see that the fraction in the denominator is the number 5 over this simple fraction. So now let's go ahead and work out all the details. So there you go, a very simple solution to a somewhat complicated looking problem. Hey, thanks for watching. Click on this logo to check out our complete SAT math platform. And if you know someone studying for the SATs, please let them know about it. Thank you. Hey, got another very first.